Aloha everyone. My name is Charles and this is the USGS report for March 30th, 2021, posted at 8:28 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. USGS reports that their lake observations on the Hale Ma'umau crater still showed that lava infusion from the west vent continues to supply the lava lake within the Hale Ma'umau crater. The west vent is consistently infusing lava at low rates. Lava circulation and intermittent foundering of crust continue in the western portion of the lava lake. The total depth of the lava lake is still 224 meters or 735 feet deep. This morning, as measured by a continuous laser rangefinder on the active western portion of the lake. Stagnant and solidified lava crusts cover the eastern portion of the lava lake and is slowly growing westward. East Rift Zone observations show no unusual activity has been noted in the region. The geodetic monitors indicate that the summit and upper East Rift Zone between the summit and Pu'o'o is still refilling at rates similar to those measured over the past two years and before the December 2020 eruption. SO2 and H2S emissions from Pu'o'o were still below instrumental detection levels when last measured on January 7, 2021. Current summit observations show that the most recent sulfur dioxide emission rates, which were measured on March 26, was at 650 tons per day. This is elevated compared to rates in the months before the eruption started on December 20, 2021, at about 9.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, and those measurements were less than 100 tons per day. But, lower emission, uh, but, but are still lower than emission rates from the pre-2018 lava lake, which were about 5,000 tons per day. Summit tilt meters recorded an inflationary tilt trend starting at approximately 3 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time, while seismicity, uh, seismicity rates remain stable with elevated tremor. And that will pretty much do it for the USGS report for March 30th, 2021. Mahalo for watching. 